Alright, let's pick it up here. We visited our first dungeon off the leash. So, this is Tsuta... Tsuta Ruins. Dungeon is actually quite a bit of an understatement because usually in comparison to a JRPG, this is a little bit tamer in comparison, but still it's infested. It's a good way to get praise though. Of course, it's a temple devoted to Arahabaki, don't you know? Yeah, he's right about that. If you paint a lily pad in there, it's gone, it's history. That is not good. So, crossing water is out of the option right here. Because um, if you do fall into it, it's basically death. Or actually, uh, it's kind of like drowning, but instantly. And you come back with uh, one fragment of health completely gone. And here that. Um, we already know that that's a praise that uh, option. Okay, let's get the Traveler's Charm. This is pretty much a majority of the treasure chests here. And that's the map. Dungeon maps are actually different from normal, uh... Ooh, hello, evil tree. Time to brainwash you to become one of my own uh, army of trees. Okay. Just be careful here because, again, poisonous waters. So we use this. And this is a defense increase. It's a temporary defense buff. And it will make some noise when it's in use. And when the noise is gone, then it tells you that it's gone. Or that wall. Okay. So we need to go this way. This isn't terribly monster infested. There is enemies, yes, without a doubt. But not like as terrible as you would see in like a JRPG. Like Digital Double Saga or Final Fantasy. Okay. That tree is one of mine. And now we have to dig up this Digging up this clover. Okay. Moving on. Can't go in that... Oh wait, that's a... Yeah, I shouldn't have read this tree. The more praise I get, the better. And the closer I'll get to an extra astro pouch. Or maybe a health upgrade. Probably both. When the time comes. Okay. So, this area has a certain amount of floors. So you're gonna have to be really clever with this. We got an incense burner. Which is another piece of crap treasure that we have. And that could easily be sold. That was useless. Okay. I'm just going to ignore that for now because uh, over there, there is a hard to reach clover and I'm going to show you how to get there. I was actually scared because for somehow I'm on the ground and yet this is the closest I can get to the wall, which is awfully bizarre. This is a very loopy uh, kind of dungeon and if you notice there are some buds floating in the air. That'll be a power that we learn here, but we don't learn it now. So we're gonna have to actually wait a little bit. Forgot how to get it though. Okay. I think in theory I can just jump down and... Whoops. Forgot about that. Okay. There we go. Alright. So there's only one direction, and that is, um... That's a weird statue of Rahabaki. I know that's not his name, but... It's called Dogu, actually, but... I just call it that because, uh... You know, shouldn't make any tense there at all. Okay. I need to get this really close to the wall if, in my order to get to it. And perform a uh, wall jump. Eventually there will come a time when it won't be necessary, and that will be a while, so 
You won't need to know about it. Ever. Okay, bud. Steal item. Let's see what's in here. Okay, this is an attack upgrade item. Okay. Now remember, this looks like the thing we encountered before, but... Okay. That is not a treasure bud. This is an evil bud. A very evil bud. And I think it'll probably give you a hint of how you're supposed to kill it. This, I think, is one of the clever ways of actually having... Uh, this is the most original way of actually defeating an enemy in this game, but first I need to bring him down. Like, now. Okay, when his color is gone, they'll give you the symbol to use the bloom command, and then his weak spot is exposed. And so if you just attack it enough, he'll kill it. But, unfortunately, that was not enough. Right, stay still. You're almost done. Come on. Up. Stop shooting crap at me. You can deflect it back, but I didn't. Okay. So, boom. And its floor finisher is this. Another bloom. And we get a demon fag from that. Okay. So the curse is lifted and now we can move this thing. Unlike the um the marble thing in Hana Valley, this actually serves a different purpose. And it's not for growing anything. But unfortunately this is kind of pathetic because this is just you're supposed to push it down. But there's only one way to go, and that is there. We have to uh, set this off. Okay, I think these are more Dogu or ancient uh, clay statues, but I'm breaking them. Because they usually have money and ink pots. And, yeah, just for hell of it. You might also find some animal feed. Okay. Oh boy. Yeah. Remember how we have to fight one bud enemy? Now we have to fight two. And knowing how tough they are before, I just got frustrated. So, um... With Rosary, I could be able to actually do some long range attacks, but since these things jump around quite a bit, I just felt inclined to use an exorcism slip. What am I doing? Okay. Get away. I'm trying to kill your friend. Come on. You're getting the to it. Okay. Or finisher. Too late. Alright, so one's down. Okay. Now uh, he's down for the count. And now let's just slash him like crazy. As a sub weapon, it can be like a machine gun sort of thing. It can actually shoot beads at the enemy. But, uh, since this is my main weapon, I can't do that. Instead, I have a reflector, which is basically more like a shield. As Instan told us in combat. Okay, so we got a lot of praise. Let's wrap this up here.